Welcome to the talk show, The Power of Women in Business, the show for international business women to get inspired with best practices and insights on how to scale up your business internationally. Your host is Tina Kerensen from Holland. She is well known for supporting female business owners to expand their business massively and internationally. Tineke is an international business expert for 28 years and is the author of the book, Maximum Business Growth for Women. It is time that women step up and create bigger businesses so that women can make a bigger impact in the world. Enjoy this powerful show as Tineke Rensen and her guest expert combine their brilliance in business to help you take your business to the next level. Hi, ladies, business ladies. It's been a little while. Uh, I took a break over the Christmas uh, holidays, but here we are back again with a new episode of The Power of Women in Business, which is all about successful business women who do business internationally and who wants to share their tips with you. And today I have a very, very special guest with me, and she, as you can see how beautiful she looks, she's from a Moroccan background. Uh, her name is Zeynep Nasru, and she's the CEO and founder of the Heart Mastery Revolution. I started my, uh, uh, Zeynep started her spiritual journey four years ago when she decided to quit her corporate job and to travel the world. She didn't know what she was looking for, but she knew deep within that the life she was having at that time was not fulfilling her. She was chasing happiness, but outside of her. There was a voice within her and she finally decided to listen to it. Very courageous, by the way. She took a one-way ticket to Australia, didn't know what she was seeking and ended up finding the most beautiful gift and gem that she wishes all of you to find too and experience it. She found her true essence. She found her purpose, her calling, and then she surrendered to the universe, to the greater good of all, and allowed this uh, to happen. And she's now teaching this to business women and corporate executive women all over the world, because she truly believes that success is not only about the job, the prestige, the car, the house, the money, the holidays. There's a lot more to it. So, wow, Zina, here you are. <laughs> Thank you, Nico. Hey, everyone. Uh, happy New Year to all of you. Thank and you. I'm to be with the amazing Tineke as well. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm glad you're here and we already had some uh, conversation before we started and I believe this is going to be again a great interview. So are you ready to start? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so Zineb, um, why is it important to show up with confidence in whatever you do when you do business internationally? The energy you're putting in anything you do can be picked up by the people around you. If you're showing up lacking confidence in your message, in, in what you deliver, in your services, how would you want the other people to really buy from you or do business with you? Because they pick up on that energy. Um, so let's say, for example, you're selling, uh, you're selling a, a hundred thousand product or service and you're showing up and you're like, yeah, uh, I can do this for you and do this for you, but deeper than you, you you're not sure, you know, and that is something that your subconscious actually, it, it can be seen on your face and it can be seen your gestures instead of speaking up with an openness and like being confident about it, the way your eyes going to show, the way your energy in the room, you're going to be more closed up and that is all has to do with your confidence. Delivering the thing that you do with confidence is and the energy you put in around everything you do everything you talk about is <clears throat> is what determines actually the success of your mission because before people like when they see us usually you have this 10 second when we're face to face mm -hmm. and after this they, they decide to snap so when they see you delivering with confidence they pick up on that energy and no matter what you're saying actually i heard recently that the content 
is not as uh, important as what the way you're talking about mm. it. It can be the same message, exact same. Two people doing the same thing. One is going to the roof and the other one is struggling. And True. it all has to do with your confidence. True. Yeah, I, I, so, I so much agree. And you know, sometimes it happens that um, they, the, the person you talk to, they have a gut feeling. They don't, you know, the story, to, it totally is right. And they have no idea why it doesn't resonate. And yeah, it's, uh, it could be that this is the case. They reject the, um, the, your proposition. But they cannot say that, you know, it doesn't feel right, it's not, so they come up, they make up lacks in your story, they make up lacks in your proposition. Uh, so thank you, I, this is really valuable. So, so is, is this a correct way of how the other person would behave if you don't show up strong and with confidence? Okay, our outer world reflects what's happening within us. So usually we attract to us uh, or we bring into our lives the people who are on that same vibration. So if you're aiming for a contract, let's say, energetically speaking, of a million and you're vibrating at 10,000, there is a huge gap and this all has to do. So for example, if you are aiming for 100 million contracts, but within you, you're not believing it, you're not going to be attracting to you that million dollar contracts, but rather that vibration of the value that you're putting on your message. So it can be hundred or 10,000. It doesn't matter. But in order for you to have that million dollar contracts, you have to show up with confidence in you, but in also your ability that you already have it because you deserve it. That really that confidence in you of the value that you are bringing to the world this million dollars is your worth, is what you deserve. And mm. this is the vibration of that you are setting up and the tone you're putting out in the universe. So can you explain a little bit more about this vibration? Yeah, absolutely. We're talking about vibration. So we, we all have, we are energy. So our feelings have a vibration, our thoughts have a vibration, our emotions have a vibration. And the way we feel about ourselves, when, we, when I say we are confident, that is emitting a frequency outside into the world. And people can pick up these frequencies easier than they can pick up words because we're all like this energies. So it's like energy interacting with another energy uh, as, as human beings and entities. So when you are, like, I'll give it with a more clear, vibration is really that frequency that you are showing up with. So for example, if you want to listen to a jazz radio, you go to a station 99.2. But if you want to listen to rock music, that's another station that'll be 96.3. So you can't be listening to jazz being on the rock station. And this is exactly what I mean by vibration. If you're aiming for that hundred million dollar contract, you can't, you need to be at that level, vibrationally speaking, of that which you want into your life. And this is exactly what I mean. You want the million dollar, you rise up to it. It's not going to come down to you. You go to that level and you oh, claim okay. it. It's yours. This is what I mean by vibration. Good. I love the explanation about the jazz and the rock station. So I believe uh, we understand now what you mean. A question about this, but uh, may maybe later on. Let let's continue with... Um, our conversation. There's so much to this subject and if people do want to know more about it and about frequency and how to raise this frequency, they should definitely connect uh, with you. Because I work like this too. I don't know whether uh, you knew, uh, but it makes so much difference when you are aligned, when your frequency is aligned with the thing you really want. Because in my experience, um, things go so much easier. There, there's coincidences coming your way, all of a sudden the right people connect with you Absolutely. and uh, so I really do hope uh, you women start, uh, realize that this is not a woo-woo thing, this is another tool that you can add to being successful in business. And you use a wonderful word, a line. Mm -hmm. like enlighten everything within you so that everything actually the universe or people start reflecting the things that we have inside of us and we strike bringing into our life 
like more people, high high values and their like, greatness. And I was like, whoa, where was that before? Where? It was mm. just waiting for you to rise up to it. That's it. Exactly. It's always been there. Yeah, good. So th- what is what is the ultimate thing to do when you want to grow your business internationally? The ultimate thing to do, uh, or things to do, I believe the first one to start with is uh, showing up and then going for it, like networking, building relationships with people, because your network is your network. And I believe when you start networking, uh, you meet people from different backgrounds and from different countries. And these are the times when you are starting to build that. Sometimes your business internationally starts from where you are. Mm. Like building that networks, really re- investing in the value of relationship that you have with the pe- with people that you network with, because not all of them only come from the place where you are. Uh, I, I went to a networking event yesterday. There are people from Australia, people from the US, people from the UK, from Switzerland, from South Africa, and just building these relationships will help you take your business internationally. Once because people do business with people because they know them. Mm. So when you're putting yourself in the right place and you're going for it, that also means you're taking actions towards growing that business internationally. So you're going to the places where you're more likely to meet international women or business owners True. and then growing that business. But for me, building your network, 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 build these valuable relationships. Before, like First of all, it is about business, but it's also about the human. Uh, we, we tend a lot to forget this, that, okay, we might be doing business with people, but at the end of the day, we're all human beings, and, and people value people. Mm. And this, like, for me, it's in any relationship, in any life, but it's even more important when you're growing internationally because you get to know and have a glimpse of a different culture and see if your business will be a fit for it, even from being locally. So starting your business internationally sometimes so from where you are. So network. Put, give value to people and just like really invest in people. That would be, for me, is the one of the ultimate things to do. Mm, to yeah, I, t- I totally agree. And where do you live right now? Do I'm live- in Paris right now. Okay. I moved to London and I moved back. Okay, so it definitely helps when you live in a metropole. <laughs> there are many international people. I, indeed, and even like the transport system is so good. Like flying, you can fly within within fifteen minutes. I'll be in London. I can mm. be back in the evening and still doing doing business. Yeah, yeah. Europe is a good uh, place to do business internationally because our countries are small. Uh, I for me the same. From Amsterdam, I fly in fifteen minutes to London, and and the same to Paris. Uh, yeah, so it does make it easier. <laughs> It is easier. True, true. When planning to go globally in your business, what would be your advice to the audience? Okay. Follow your gut and go for it. A lot of time we are waiting to be ready. It's like, well, I need to do a market strategy and I need to do this and this and that. And, and really start to overthink it. And sometimes there's nothing but there to just like going for it. Mm-hmm. Go and meet the people that you know already there and maybe spend a week or two or a month in that country that you want to grow your business in. Do not wait for that right opportunity because opportunities come to you when you show up in the place. So you True. get to grow this culture from within and that takes you taking that gut and also that means you're taking that leap faith in you. Maybe discovery trip and then starting like put in the base and ground in that space for you. But a lot of us and a lot of women are waiting for to be ready or to have that right opportunity. Well, you create them. Yeah, and, and, and I, I totally agree with that. You cannot create them when you are in your own office. You need to be out there. I traveled to Switzerland uh, a month, uh, one and a half months ago, and I didn't have many meetings before I left. In, but I thought, you know, I don't know how, but I will create meetings. They, they will be there. I had three days and I did have seven or eight meetings. I only had two planned. But those came out of the meetings I had. So I believe it's also confidence. You, 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 
I, I so much agree. You don't always have to do all the market research and all the strategic decisions and stuff. Once you're not out there, nothing's going to happen. So, yeah. Sometimes just being there gives you that like extra clarity about mm -hmm. what you want to do. And the core value, again, is confidence. Like confidence in, in you and you taking that leap faith and going there, you know, like, as you said, I don't know how am I going to make it happen, but you just know. And this is also how you're showing up, and this is why you be bringing it into your life and attracting mm -hmm. the people, the opportunities. You create them. Stop waiting for that thing to fall. Yeah. You go out there and you create it. And this is how it is in business, internationally, nationally. But for order, in order for you to go internationally, go for it. Like yeah. follow that. But sometimes you just have that feeling. You you don't really. It's not even logical sometimes. It's no, like, it, you you have to be able to let go of control. And to have to, if, if, if I would have talked to people and said, I booked a three day ticket to Zurich with only two meetings, they would have said, well, that's a waste of money. You know, I don't even talk about this anymore. And, and, and it, I had a car rental, I had a, a room, I had, you know, uh, everything for three days with only two meetings. Uh, people would say, well, that's not a strategic wise and business decision, but I go, actually I go tomorrow. I now have. 12 meetings planned in three days already because all of the contacts I met when I was there and I was out there so it's it's definitely like you say you have to be there I so much agree you know it, the market research it's for me it's old school you can do your market research when you're there talking to the right people and 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 do do it that way yeah 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 as much as you can start growing your business internationally by being in, in your place and, and like networking and knowing people from different backgrounds, as much as you, if you really want to do it, you just go there. Yeah, exactly. Like, and then create yeah. opportunity. That's, it's like it's really the best advice. I totally agree with you. Yeah, thank you for that. So what is the importance of collaboration when it comes uh, to going international? That's that's a, that's an amazing question, and I love it. Collaboration gives you actually that two leverages that you you know your market and the other person that you be working with know something different that might and you together are giving a better offer or or a wider range of services that it, that makes more, way more impact. This is your way of making more impact in your world, making your your voice heard, collaborating with great people. But there is a trick. You have to be extremely careful who are you collaborating with as well. It has to be matching with you, matching with your values, matching with your energy, uh, that your services are compelling to people, but you have this vision how to bring them together to make it work for both of you. It has to be also a win-win situation. It can be like a 70-30 and even 55-45 because that might generate resentment and we don't want this in business. We want a, a really 100-100% win-win situation mm -hmm. offering like going globally and like collaborating with the right people can just like upscale your business yeah. exponentially. So this is the importance of really collaborating, but collaborating with the right people. So that also implies you know you, you know your values, you know who you want to do business with. This mm -hmm. is extremely important. Collaboration can really, really roof up, take up your business to the 10 millions next level. But for that, you need to be careful about who you're working with, who you're willing to collaborate with, because you're joining your name and your services and, and, and your audience to another person, and you really need to be on that same level again, energetically, doing on the business, on the services you want to be offering, and then that the two of you are both going to like take that leap faith together mm -hmm. into growing that yeah. business. This is like collaboration. And, and, and what if... If, if you do the math, eh, with that, that's the head, what if uh, everything is right about this business partner, but there's a gut feeling and you can't put your name, your finger on it, and, and, and that's weary about the whole situation, what would you advise? I personally won't do it. Okay. Because I, I really believe in this really, sometimes you just like meet a person and it's like, you know, you can't, as you said, you can't put words on it. You've never met that person. You've never exchanged anything, but you're just like, there is that thing. You're not feeling good around that person. That is, 
that means that your energy and the energy of the other person are not aligned. And for me, that is a no. That's already a red flag for not doing. But what if what if the energies are aligned? But you know, it's still uh, it can't it it still it might not be the right. Still, there could be a gut feeling. Yeah, I would like I would in anything you do in life. We have this like mind intelligence, but we have this gut feeling, as you call it, that emotional intelligence. And I believe that this is much, much more powerful than my intelligence. Like for me, you go with your gut. If I don't feel it, I don't do it as easy as this. Mm. And that would be my advice. Like sometimes you just like can put words in it, but there's something inside of you, like in your being that says, yeah, no, like, why would you go against this, this feeling? Because your feelings as as powerful if not more now that the science is put in there like it, are studying more and more this that gut feeling the emotional intelligence they actually see that this feelings coming from the gut are much more powerful than any thoughts thoughts sometimes can be conditioned by the way we raise society the way we've been doing business but your gut feeling is up to you and this is the important is that that, need, that means that the core value of your business has to be matching. That, that thing that's coming from the gut from within has to be matching with the other person as well. And yeah. for me, if that is not matching, that is, already, that, that, that is like the base for doing business with someone. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so that, that would also be a, a red flag uh, if, if your gut feeling is not right and it would prevent yourself from making the wrong decisions. I made quite a, quite a lot of wrong decisions in finding partnerships. Um, and although it, initially I believe they feel good, but somehow it turns out to be differently later on. So how... It can be different and... What, 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 what would, could you advise? Have I not listened well enough? Have I been too much in my head? Have I been willing to make it work too much? A lot of time we're just willing to make, we're like in that excitement. And then it was like, all right, that feeling would go away because like, it, it seems like a great opportunity and can I miss out on it? That is in the head. Like usually, you know, like when I say sometimes you meet a person that you've never met before, like you, you haven't spoken even, and they're just like, no. It's, it's not clicking, you know, there is no that, that element that you're not even willing to like start conversation. And this is ex like, this is important in life, but this is even extremely important in business because your body is an amazing tool that always gives you all that you need to know. And you have to start listening to it. Enough of us being caught in the head. But what if, what if, what if the, the mind is so strong that you don't hear it, that you don't... Because in our society, we're not so much used to it anymore. Indeed. This is why I intervene. I, I, I will advise everyone to do, like, to meditate. If you don't do it, this year, 2019 is the year of the I year. still don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> There's something in me which refuses to do it. Maybe it's the last thing I need to surrender to, but... <laughs> it, like, it will come at the right time for you. Like, yeah. there's no right or wrong as well. But, but sometimes people see meditation as sitting in position for 20 minutes. No, it can be like the first time when you wake up, like the first minute or two when you wake up in your bed, instead of jumping out of bed, just take that time with your eyes closed to just breathe and like embrace that newness and that new life and that new day. And like just let no thoughts simmer into into your into you into you. Like the thoughts are, are there, like do not judge them. But if you just bring your attention to your breathing, that will like dilute the thoughts and, and you'll be sitting in that yeah. <laughs> just like take two minutes. It's not I'm not asking you to start with ten minutes or twenty, like two minutes, like Instead of saying, okay, my alarm, okay, my alarm is at 6 or 5.30. Like, let's say from 5 to 5.32, I'm taking these two minutes to stay in bed and just to breathe. Breathe, bring gratitude into that breathing. Mm -hmm. And then just see the difference that that will, if how, and the, how that will impact also your life. Like, just, just two minutes of gratitude. You're, you're just feeling happy that you're, 
you're alive, that you're being like grateful for all the things that you have and you know that you have more into your life. This is something I definitely advise people because that way you're quiet in your mind and you can go deeper into your gut feelings, intuition. But, but you know, body. my mind never goes quiet, Zina. And it's not that I'm thinking about business and, and, and you know, and stuff I need to do, but my mind never goes quiet. Right. Only when I sleep. That's it. And even when you sleep, your subconscious mind takes yeah. over. Uh, that is just that your mind hasn't been trained enough and that you need to train it. This is when I say, we start with two minutes. The mind actually, because it hasn't been used to it, it's like a wild dog. It hasn't used to be trained or walked in leash. So if you try to put yeah. it in a leash, it's going to like struggle and, 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 uh, like, and, and like not obey. But the more you train it, the more you're gonna get the results. And it's like everything in life, repetition is the key. You repeat, 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 and you do not judge yourself. Like the, the great thing Yeah, I, I, I know that, yeah. It's really like, okay, there's a thought, that's fine. Let it go, go back to my breathing. There's another thought, let it go. And and, and that way you also like, oh, okay. You're, you're um, replying with really understanding and kindness to your own thoughts because a lot of time we struggle with them it's like i want to sleep and my mind doesn't want to stop or or i want to be in meditation no like the, the aim of meditation is to observe what's what's going on without judging it and releasing it that way you're decluttering from within and leaving a space and creating a space and you're also training your mind because the mind is a, it's powerful because we gave it the power yeah so once we to obey us then we can reach that state of quietness and we can easy easily and easier tune into into our feeling our feelings emotions sensations and all that mm. yeah and and that's that's the thing why I, I i am triggered to it because i know when the gut feeling is there doing business is so much easier indeed indeed yeah. Follow, follow your guts, follow your, so for your me guts. it's it's another uh, strategic business decision yeah. Indeed, yeah. There is a decision with the mind on papers. It's great. It's like, and then there is that feel like, what is what is within me? Mm -hmm. How am I feeling about it? And a lot of time we have the answers. Like, and it doesn't take ages. Like, it takes no, you know, and it makes it makes doing business so much easier when you when you don't make all these mistakes anymore because your gut knows more than your mind because it's connected with everything. Yeah. But and yeah. Relation with the whole. Yeah. Actually, it, it's funny because even when we come to Earth, we talk about the gut, but the connection that we have with this person holding us in, like our moms, is through the, the belly, and there's like this um, the, the cord, the biological cord that is also in the gut area. So when uh -huh. we talk about emotional, it's really on the gut, and like it's all connected. Mm, wow. So the key to going uh, doing business international, uh, it's 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 all about you having the right vibration. Indeed. Are you ready to play that big? Are you ready to scale up that much? Are you ready to work with other people, trust them, rely on them? Yeah. Are you ready so, to trust yourself to go for it? That's where it starts with, then. Yeah, that's exactly where it starts with. I, I believe it all starts with you. Mm -hmm. How you're showing up, how, how how much confident are you in your business, what value you bring into the world, and your extreme confidence about that which you're bringing out there. Because when you know your value, you know that what you have to deliver is invaluable, that you're setting a million dollars on it, and that you know that it even worth more than that. This is exactly where you're going to be. These are the vibrations I want all of you to have. Play big. So I, I wanna I, I wanna end with asking a question to the audience. Are you willing to do everything it takes to make that million dollar contract so much easier? So that people will not say no and you can get it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Wow. Is there anything I haven't asked you? I think we covered it all. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's been really beautiful. There's so much to say about this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm really, really delighted to, to, to bring that awareness to people, like to women in business, because we can be doing business internationally, globally, charging millions and having fun and following our guts. It's all possible and we can have it all.
Yeah. It all starts with you, your vibrations, your confidence in you, and that's it. Thank you so much. So, ladies, if you want to connect with Zineb, you know, just stay on a little longer. At the end, you will see an ad where you can uh, connect with her, email, uh, social media, and I'm sure uh, she's looking forward to uh, connect with you too. Okay. So, bye-bye, everybody. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Uh, there has been some very good nuggets in this um, great talk, and I'm looking forward to speak to you again and next time. Thank you so much, Zineb. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.